A sequence converges when r, the ratio, is between minus 1 and 1. So we need to find r. So let's go find term 1. Term 1, you start off by plugging whatever this number is into the place of p. But Kevin, what about x? Don't worry about that, guys. You'll see it'll all work out. So you just do that. Then to find term 2, you do the same thing. You plug in a 2 this time because that's you always add 1 to this number. So that's going to look like that. Now r, for any geometric sequence, we know that it's geometric because only geometric sequences converge. You could use term 2 divided by term 1. And so that's going to be 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x divided by 1 plus x over 1 minus x. Now, whenever we have a fraction on top of a fraction, then we need to use a, a trick that we probably learned in earlier grades. Like if you have 3 over 4 divided by 2 over 9, then you can say 3 over 4 times 9 over 2. So we're going to do the same approach. And so that's going to be 1 plus x squared over 1 minus x multiplied by 1 minus x over 1 plus x. So this cancels, and then this cancels with one of these. So you've just got 1 plus x left over. So r is 1 plus x. So what I then do is I go put that in the place of here. So I say 1 plus x must be between 1 and minus 1. And so x is going to be 0 if I take this plus 1 over to that side. And if I take it to that side, it's going to be negative 2.